Hello, so I was walking through this park over here that's near uh, near where I'm staying and uh, when I got to the other side of the park there's this weird building over here with like this smokestack and when I got closer to the building with the smokestack to try and figure out what it was there's also this weird pyramid over here I found out that it is a museum Museo de la Industria a museum of industry so I think we should check it out because we like a good museum and this looks like an interesting one hola, buen día uh, ¿Puedo filmar uh, adentro? Sí. Sí, de dónde visitas? Oh, uh, soy de Estados Unidos. Sí, sí. sí. Uh, ciudad de Chicago. Chicago, ok. Sí. Eh, you want, eh, you can to the museum. Oh, sí. You can information. Ok. Eh, through the square, sí. your cell phone. Sí. Information is going to be in Spanish. Ok, está bien. Um, information includes Oh, okay. And since 1996, this is a museum that shows how was it developed in the the, the white vehicle was made for the second visit mm -hmm. of the Jean Paul uh, second that came here to si. Cordoba, si, Argentina in 1987. Uh, you have the Kaiser Manhattan, uh, Kaiser Carabella, that uh, similar to the Kaiser Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Then you have the Rambler, and you have in the logo the connection between ICA and American Motors. Oh. Okay? After that, you have the Gordini, you have the presence of Reino from France here. Other Torinos, one of them, the white with the number two in the door is the copy of one of the Torinos that participate in the ra uh, car race, the 84 hours, New Green, uh, Germany, okay. in 1969. Then you have vehicles uh, for the rally world cars. Uh, and in the back, you have the Guarani, the plane, and also a glider produced by a, in, a Germany engineer mm -hmm. that produced these kinds of airplanes. This is a glider that have an en engine, mm -hmm. and in this uh, thing participate Rema Horten, a famous constructor who yeah, produced this car. The kind of you can go around, please. Sí. Uh, don't cross the line, don't touch. Sí, sí, por you supuesto. Don't pay any phone. Gracias, okay. muchísimas gracias. ¿Cómo se llama usted? Marimi Fernanda. Fernanda, okay. muchas gracias. Thank you. Okay, well. Look at this. One, okay, number one. This building is cool. And when we saw it from the outside, yeah, it, it looked pretty cool, and it's cool on the inside, too very cool like old you know industrial factory these cool rafters but I mean inside for all the car nerds wow cool old Jeep 1956 to 78 probably old Jeep Wrangler fans there it is Renault, Torino. So this is all stuff made in Argentina and it's a, a celebration of the industry of Argentina. And even though these are, you know, like this is a Renault, that's a Jeep. These are different companies from US, from uh, 
France from different uh, different uh, countries. They were all made here in Argentina. Old typewriters, adding machines. Ah, el Papa Mobil. This is the Pope Mobile. So they made they made the Pope Mobile here, the nineteen eighty seven Pope Mobile. For Pope John Paul the Second. And then she was saying that this is Kaiser. Kaiser. I don't I don't recognize that that name, but I mean it looks like an American car. Kaiser. I'm gonna have to look this up. on the back. These old cars, man. I, white wall tires. I love these things. This one's a little beat up, but I mean, man, being able to preserve something like this old is really, really cool, especially in this, like in this place. I mean, look at this place. It's just a cool place to see all this stuff. I'm really glad we came in here, honestly, because it looked interesting from the outside and man, on the inside, super cool. And then we met um, Fernanda, I think her name was. Gosh, I'm sorry, I'm bad with names sometimes. I don't remember them. But, uh, wow, Rambler. Yo. Look at this thing. Unfortunately, we can't cross these lines. I mean, I would love to, like, get right up close to this thing. Look inside. Maybe we can get, like, kind of close. Kind of reminds me of when we when we were uh, at uh, the Quinta, La Quinta de Juan y Eva Perón, and they had that uh, Fiat Juan Perón's car, and it was super clean. I mean, these are whew, look at this thing. These are pretty clean too. Got a flat tire, but that's all right. Doesn't need tires because it's just gonna sit here in a museum. Damn, look at this thing. Okay, and this, Gordini. Renault, Gorni, Gordini. This is a cool little car, it's tiny. But it's four doors. Go around here and look. <laughs> These little, the little like European cars. It's it's funny to see the because this is like 1962 to 1970. So like you know European cars look like that, and then same, yeah, 1962 to 75. The American cars are these big, giant, like boats. Even in Argentina today, you know, it's funny, you don't see very many big cars. In fact, I haven't seen really any big cars. Like, everything you see is like Toyota Corolla size or smaller. In fact, the um, police cars, and when I was going around Buenos Aires, all the police cars were like little Toyota sedans. I like probably like a Corolla size sedan. So I, I, everything's pretty small. Which is good, I guess. Fuel efficient. That's for sure. Ooh, look at this. Torino. 380. 1969. I mean, for, for a Renault, for a European car, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big car. Really cool. Tinted windows. 
black interior. Really cool. Oh, and this, look at this. This is a Torino 380. This one was the one that was used in a, uh, in a race of some sort. She was saying I wasn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't quite hear what she said. It was like a famous race. We'll look it up. We'll look it up. We'll put, we'll put information, of course, in the subtitles like we always do, but man, look at this thing. cages like uh, I think it has a roll cage yeah it's got a roll cage it's got the harness multi-point harnesses damn look at this thing there are at least a couple people who I think are going to watch this video of course at the time of this video's filming, I have about 35 subscribers, so who knows? Maybe if you're watching this two years in the future or something, I have more, but I know at least a couple of people who are gonna be really fucking psyched to see this thing. <laughs> I mean, honestly, how bad do I want to open up this hood and like look down into the engine? You know what? We're gonna sneak the camera in, see if we can get a view of like some of the engine parts. How bad? How bad do you want to look at that thing? All right, so there's there's stuff in the center too. So I think we're gonna go all the way around the edge here. We'll see all the things on the outside edge, and then we'll walk through the center and we'll see all those because I've been. They've been behind me as I've been filming here, and we'll show them off on the way back, but here, a bunch of motorcycles. Wow. This one, oh, ho, 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 look at this thing. Yo. Okay. I mean, come on. This thing looks awesome. I mean, it's so old, like, it's it's definitely not a new, but I mean, look at it. Look at how it's, how it's designed. It's a, that thing's a racing motorcycle for sure. Damn, look at all these. These are cool. I know nothing about motorcycles. I know hardly anything about cars, but I know even, even less about motorcycles. Franke Biso. Motocicleta Franke Biso. Damn. This, okay. It's officially very cool. Here's another one over here. Moto Puma. Let's see. I think we can walk around the back of this big plane. Some cool photos here of, I guess, old Argentine designed planes. Some models here. Wow. The jet. Argentine jet. Super cool. Oh yeah, here we go. Here are even more. Parachutes, very important. A tractor. I mean, look, let's be honest. It's not as cool as that race car, not as cool as that motorcycle, but uh, very important. Very important, especially a place like Argentina, 
where like their entire, their almost entire industry is, and history of industry has been agricultural. Lots of farms in Argentina. And this is that plane that's back here. It's super cool. Fuerza Araya Argentina. Argentine Air Force. Now each one of these has like a little QR code next to it. So as I've been filming the signs, hopefully I've been like had the camera on long enough that if anybody wants to, they could like pause and, and take a look at the QR code to get like more information, I guess. And I'm actually probably gonna do that later in the video when I'm editing it. I'll like go in and look at all the QR codes and get all the info about all these things. Oh, wow, look at this. Work truck. This is a, this is a cool truck. And they have like the engines. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on it. So I guess this is the engine. I wonder if this is the engine from the truck over here, or if it's the engine from this car. I don't know. It's a beefy looking car. Hold on, let me zoom in on the, uh, the sign. Hopefully people can get that QR code. But this car is like, I mean, it's pretty beefy. It looks like this is a military car. And of course, the thing that we've been <laughs> we've been standing in front of this entire time while we're looking at cars and stuff is this crazy glider. And that one back there too. Wow. So those gliders, those are of course the hang glider, obviously no engine, but that glider underneath also no engine. Gliders always like kind of scared the shit out of me, right? You know, <laughs> no engine. You're basically just like, you get towed by a plane and then you just cut loose. And then you're just like on your own. <laughs> hope hope that you have updrafts and and you can like stay flying. I don't know. I guess people who know how to fly them they know what they're doing, but it still scares the shit out of me. So this is a monoplane. This is actually not This is a glider? I can't even tell. No. Well, we'll have to look at the QR code of this thing to see if this is a glider or if this is an actual, like, powered plane. But man, look at the size of that tiny little cockpit. These giant wings. The wings go all the way out to there. As we just <laughs> casually walk past a Formula One car. Man, this thing is cool. All right, now, the Formula One car. Look at this. Ooh. Oh yeah. Like I said, I don't know much about cars, but this thing is sexy. Look at that. Whew. I wonder when this is from. There's no, uh, there's no sign for this one. So we don't know when this is from, but I guess from like the number and the the type of car it is, it's a Renault, and like the, maybe the, uh, the, the markings, maybe we, there's a way we could figure out online, I bet you we could, I bet you we could figure out when this thing is from, damn, look at it though, I think it looks like it's about to take off, you put wings on that thing, it will fly, we have over here, this is like, uh, engines yeah engines what kind of engine is this let's see if we can see it is a 2000 
16 valve electronic injection some sort of engine I don't know uh, oh. it's very cool oh it's a fiat okay well it says fiat on the on the belt here so it's a fiat this thing whoo Pretty cool too. Some sort of diesel engine. I know because it says diesel on it. El Lopez Orozco. El Lopez Orozco. Looks like all of these engines are El Lopez Orozco. Which I, I, I guess is an Argentine. Uh, engine maker I don't know look she was saying a lot of stuff there and I was uh, trying to pay attention but I was also kind of like just like looking around the place like a child um, and not paying attention I have I have a problem with that sometimes but uh, that's okay when we get an edit we'll go back and we'll uh, we'll listen to everything that she said and then maybe we'll actually understand more of what we're looking at man look at this gigantic fucking thing is like this has got to be for something bigger than a car this has got to be for like a train or some shit here let's let's be in Germany wow okay this thing I have no idea what this is but it's huge it's absolutely huge definitely got to be for I mean look at the size of the car engines next to this thing this has to be for like a train or something all right moving along oh you know what <laughs> we walked past a race car completely walked right past it look at this whoa Horacio Perdenera wonder if that's is that the guy? Is that like his car? Horacio Perdedera? Hmm. Well, it's super cool. It's got roll cages inside. Well, let's get a look around this side. Oscar Cabalen. Well, okay, so this either... Those are either the people that designed the car, or those were people who raced in this car. But man, this thing is cool. The exhaust up in the front, like kicking out right there. Damn. See, when I see cars like this in a museum like this, it's cool. But man, whew, I wish they would turn this thing on so I could hear the engine. And, uh, ooh, look at this bad boy. Gigantic truck. Showing off the different molds I guess back here Let's see all the way into the interior this looks kind of like a I don't even know what kind of truck this is then they have this cage on the front which I imagine is custom so that you can see the engine probably made it like this for the museum oh here's a here's a classic Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's like a... I'm gonna say... 1994, maybe? 94? 93? Something like that? Early 90s. Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. It's pretty, pretty clean, honestly. I mean, except for the bird poop on the back, but like... I could see in the interior, they kept the interior really clean on this thing. This is funny, because like these things were super popular. And these things used to be like all over the road. Jeep Grand Cherokee. Not anymore. Is this a Zamboni? 
Looks like one. Street sweeper? Yeah, this is a street sweeper, I think. You know what? I think we're going to swing back around. We'll go through the middle that we walked past before when we were walking through. And we can see all the things. Yeah, this is a street sweeper. So we walked past all of these when we were when we were looking at these cars over here. Right? So we walked past this pretty badass looking car. Whew. This is like a 70s uh, action movie car, right? Look at it. It's really slick. I have no idea what kind of car this is. Some of these cars have signs, some of them don't. So some of them we just have to guess. Ooh, another race car. Oh, this is a rally car. Okay. So this thing, oh yeah, see, this is like mud flaps. See those? Definite rally car. I think this one probably is too. Just guessing from like the cage on the front and the mud flaps. Rally racing. Now those dudes are crazy, honestly. Like <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna race and we're see this is this is what I'm talking about. Look at that windshield. Rally racers, man, rally car. These dudes are crazy. <laughs> Just driving around on dirt and mud and gravel at like 100 miles an hour. Nuts. There we go. This one's got a sign. Check out the QR code. Now, of course, I'm sure when we scan all these QR codes, <laughs> all the stuff's going to be in Spanish. That's all right. That's what Google Translate is for. Another rally car. It's a newer one. The thing with these rally cars is like a tiny little car like this, but with a monster engine inside. And then this little Renault Clio. But I mean, like. You get a little car like this, put a tuned out engine in it, this thing will just fly, absolutely fly. Super cool. So then behind us while we were looking at all these rally cars, is a minivan, look. It's a Renault minivan, and they've got a whole cross section, so you can see like inside the seats. You ever wonder what the inside of a minivan seat looks like? That's what it looks like. You can see the engine. Pretty cool. Well, that was a pretty bad glare. Unfortunately, but honestly, not as cool as some of the other engines we've seen, but still respectable. So I guess Renault had a lot of, uh, they were making a lot of Renault cars here in Argentina because I mean, we've seen a ton. Nice little 1980s Renault. Oh, and this. Look at this guy. Very cool. Now, this isn't a Renault. I think that's a Citroen. Maybe Citroen. Hmm. I don't know what this is. I mean, it looks like a race car. It's got 
race car, you know, markings and stuff all over it. These are cool. I mean, the, you know, the like industrial uh, machines like this, they are pretty cool. I have no idea what they're for. But I mean, they're not as cool as like race cars, let's be honest. Still pretty cool. All right, let's come back around. There are a few more cars over here that we didn't get to see. Um, enough of all this industrial machine stuff. I mean, they're, they're, they are cool. Like, this is a drill press. Cool industrial drill press. Super old. Oh, wow, look at this thing. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. This is like an old band saw or something, some sort of giant saw. It's all wood, so it's <laughs> really, really old. There's like a thing, someone has written something like by hand. Uh, that's cool. More motorcycles, yo. Little moped here. And then this motorcycle. This thing's cool, actually. What is this? This is a... Motos y Máquinas Zanella. 1948. Wait, so... Oh, no. Incio, not Okay, so that's like the company, I guess, started in 1948. I was going to say, I don't think this motorcycle is from 1948. This looks newer than 1948. Very cool. Moped. And then this, yo, this truck is real cool. Institec. Modelo. Furgon. Furgon. Caja Metallica. Man, this truck. I actually really like this truck. Look at that thing. Damn, look at the front of it. Look at the grill on the front. It looks like a rocket ship. Yo. That truck is cool. Here's another one. These are like 1950s, 1952 to 1955, these trucks. Man, 1950s, 1950s styling on automobiles, cars and trucks and stuff was so cool. I mean, like, let's be honest. They're kind of the coolest, 1950s. All the coolest ones in the United States, 1950s, like, Come on. I'll stand by that. Fight me. Fight me, damn it. And here we go. This is basically <laughs> a sedan version of that same truck. Because, like, look at the front of it. Front of that. And <laughs> the front of the sedan. They basically just stick the other, stick the back end on, like, extra passenger seats and a trunk instead of a truck bed but everything else is basically exactly the same that's pretty cool actually that's like uh, very efficient yo this, this thing's cool look at it yeah very cool looking all right and the last few are these really old Renault I mean, this is like, this is like 1920s stuff, right? This is a, oh no, wait, this is a, this is for this car. The Fiat Palio 1996. I mean, okay, look, here's what I'm saying. 1996 style. 1952 style, like, come on. It's not even a competition. If you had a choice between driving this or this, 
Which are you gonna choose? Come on. It's purely, purely based on looks and style. Which are you gonna choose? Tell me in the comments. Ooh. So yeah, these are like, this is like 1920s Boardwalk Empire style. Damn, and they're huge too. This is the thing. These things are gigantic. Like compared to that little, that little guy over there, and even compared to like these ones from the 50s, these cars are huge. And then Arano, 1939. Even these 1939 ones, honestly, they're big. Like it's big compared to that little one from the, the one from the 50s. Like this thing is even bigger than those pickup trucks over there. It's crazy. Probably pretty heavy too. I mean, really, you think about it. I guess that is one of the things about more modern cars. They are smaller, which means they can go faster. Wow. All right, well, I think we've seen it all. The big lorry over here, truck. Camion, camion, I think is the word for, for truck in Spanish, camion. Caminon, camion, I'm not sure. This is pretty cool too. I mean, I'm not, you know, trucks are cool, but I like race cars. Nineteen sixty nine. So yeah, Fiat. Ah, here we go. Camion, I was right. Camion Iveco, 1969. That engine, okay, so that, I'm guessing that engine that we saw before that we said is like, oh, this must be for a train. It's probably not, it's probably for a truck. <laughs> Cause yeah, I imagine a train engine would be significantly larger. Well, I think that's it. I mean, it's a, it's, <laughs> it's not a very big museum but it's really cool and I'm really glad we came in here and uh, you know this thing is just like a few blocks away from where I'm staying this is the thing about Argentina I found like there's just cool stuff like this tucked away in like this weird and nobody's here I'm literally the only person walking around and and the woman uh, Fernanda I think her name was she, when I showed up she, she was just like oh she was like ready to to do the whole like spiel, you know. She did it in English, which is which is really cool. Man, had this whole place to ourselves. It's really cool. All right, well, look, if you're ever in Cordoba, you're around the uh, General Paz neighborhood, come check this place out. Museo de la Industria, Museum of Industry. Approved. Thumbs up. Come check it out. Alright, that'll be it. We'll see you in the next video. Have fun.